leader, Dr. Ekuru Okot, has criticized President Uhuru Kenyatta's proposal of an 8% VAT on petroleum products, saying in his own words that the president is actually shooting himself on the foot. Ekuru insists that the country's economic state cannot sustain any taxation on petroleum products. The opposition leader instead proposes a reduction of the number of elective seats, a complete scrapping off of regional and county commissioners' position, as well as a reduction of insignificant foreign missions. Dr. Okot has called on both Jubilee and NASA to support his Punguza Mzigo referendum campaign. The above proposal, it is now evident that the proposed 8% VAT on petroleum and related products is unnecessary and the government must adopt stringent financial discipline to shield Kenyans from their high cost of living. It is also apparent to us that President Uhuru Kenyatta and his administration is calling for help from ordinary Kenyans. This is because our elected representatives have failed to support the government. For example, why should members of parliament still hold on to the CDF kitty when they know too well that it is unconstitutional and serves no purpose? The High Court had given them 12 months to fold up CDF. Why are they still holding on to it? So why punish weary Kenyans? Kenyans who do not have jobs. And